Did you know that the first computer was weighed 30,000 kg? Hi, my name is Jonathan, grade 5 from Noble Academy. Let's start. Okay, so what is computers? A computer is a machine of hardware and software components. A computer receives data through a memory unit. It is given and processes the data and then send the device. So, why do I choose this topic? Why computers not phones, keys, and more kind of stuff like that? Because for me, computers are one of the most interested in the world. And plus, I want my people around me interested. So that, you know, maybe I can get a good score. It's for my future. So, yeah. Oh yeah, also, I want to have understandable and readable information. You know, to make words a little bit more simpler. So, what is my project about? My project is about technology, computers. But in my project, it's gonna be a little bit different because I'll be explaining the history of computer, how they invented, the history in five generations, how it's handmade, yeah, and more stuff. Okay. So, so, what is my objective for this project? My objective for this project is to try to study the history of computers with you guys on five generations to, you know, like make words and explain it a little bit easier by generation, generation, and yeah. How does computer works? Just touch the keyboard and then it appears what you type on the screen directly. Yeah, on my script and PPT. And why technology is very useful to us, especially right now. And more stuff. Next slide. So, what is the description of my project? The description of my project is technology is the skills, methods, and processes used to achieve goals. Technology is the way that through the environment to meets and needs. The first part is that technology, you can use technology to process things, to use, to use goals, to achieve goals in your life so that, so that you can save your life. And the second part, which is technology is the way and blah blah blah, like technology is one of the ways that in our environment technology want to meet us because we need it yeah you get it right so what is the project idea my project idea is since technology refers to computers i'll be taking that why not the issue of computer in five generations i found out by brain and how it works again. Okay, so what is the five generations of computer? The five generation of computer is, first are vacuum tubes, 1940, 1956. Um, so, what is vacuum tubes? What is in the first generation? So like vacuum tubes, can be used in the old times. You know, many times it can be big and take tire room for space. They invented this because they're trying to make computer cheaper, faster, and more advantage. Now we're moving to the second generation, transistors 1956 and 1963. So transistors makes the world interested at, especially not at the modern era, because a lot of people are interested. Because transistors makes the computer more smaller, more cheaper, more faster, and more advantage. But there's one problem, the heat. Since the transistors are part of the computer, it can cause heat and damage the computer. So we don't want to make our computer hot, you know, like damage. So, the third 
generation, and the fourth one is electronic group. So, 1964 to 2020. Electronic group, again, makes the world interested at because, you know, this generation is important, especially now. Electronic group is like, for example, it can be a chip, and chip is very important for us because Put it on the computer, right? If you can put it on a computer, you can you now store information from a single chip. And that is good, right? Doesn't take entire rooms. How does a chip can get all the memory? It's because the chip have thousands and thousands of circuits. That's why they have large memory. And in the fifth one, intelligence, 2020 beyond. So, the future is still in development. We're still trying to develop and try our best, but because of the virus, now it is slower, more than ever. Yeah, so, I guess, I don't know, maybe just pray for us, pray for you. So that we can team together and unite the world. <laughs> yeah. So that's the five generations. How do they invent the computer? How? Technology brings huge interest to people. So how do they invent the computers? The first thing I want to know is, how do they make it handmade? They make the keyboards and a wire to the engine, especially in the old times because there's no chip. So when you use the keyboard, you know, like that, it will directly send a message or signal to the engine and then it appears what the time on the screen. Well, it's my knowledge, I didn't search on Google, but yeah, it's my knowledge. It can be true or false. What's the development of computer through ages? Remember computers? Yeah, developed well, but now it doesn't because in the late 2000s, Apple and Samsung stepped in and introduced MacBook. More people were impressed because the quality, the chip, and the memory, they also added some things to the MacBook. Computer. But it's still expensive, 19 million rupiah. That's the cheapest rupiah. Get it. Quality. The history of computers. In today's world, we humans can carry more power in latest technology. But now, we cannot. Well, especially how rich you are or how smart you are. So, in 1801, uh, there's a French guy that invented a loom so that he can, you know, uh, make the computer more good, more better. But I guess it's failed. In 1822, there's a student named At, what is that? Asanoff? Yeah, whatever that name is. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. So, he's a student, basically. And, yeah, he just got off school in the old times. And then he, he invented a computer. Uh, yeah, he invented a computer, so he's the first computer, the first student who invented a computer. That's cool, right? So in 1953, since North Korea and South Korea was war, uh, Grace Hopper decided to invent a uh, computer's language, you know, to help to express to tribes. Yeah. So in 1985, Microsoft released a new company, Windows. And yeah, that began, and Windows began to sell in computers. So past versus present. Computers in the past, everything was small because they want to invent bigger and more revolution. In the present, there's some advantage, larger memory, more complex programs, better graphics, and more. What does it use for in the past? Can it use for calculating? Yeah, only that. But in the present, 
You can do many advantages and you can do many things. How does it develop? In the past, people have huge destruction because WW1. So people just don't care and keep focus. That's how they invent the computers, like a student. And in the present, computer go fast because the quality and the size, and not only that, the graphics, fastest and advanced. So how does so how does it change my life? I'm really bad at pronouncing. So this is my story. When I was five to seven, I was like, "Oh, what is this thing? This is interesting. Hmm, I must find it out." Then I began tap tapping randomly, and when that time I lost car and the phone, I was like, "Where's where's my phone?" I mean, like. Where's my thingy like that? Because I was, I was like, I don't know what is this. So I was like, so confused. Stop walking. Is this a controller? Yeah, I was so dumb. And then when I was going to the new French school, again, I just met my dad. Please get out here, And then he didn't. He kept declining. Okay. And then I realized. Noble is a professional and good school, so it's perfect for me. Thank you, Noble. That, yeah, I, so please go to Noble to have a good future, just like me. I have a good presentation. And then I realized this the idea, oh yeah, I should share my story, like that. So my source is summary. I only do the accurate one. So thank you for listening. I will. I hope you enjoy this presentation. And yeah, whoever supports me, thank you so much. So yeah, God bless you. See you later.